The Louisville Orchestra won its very first Grammy in Hollywood at the awards show recently. Joining us in studio to talk about that win and their upcoming season lineup is concert master and resident conductor Gabriel Lefkowitz, right? What an exciting month you guys have had already. It's been pretty dang right? exciting. A yeah. Grammy win? Yeah, it was, I mean, we, we were honored to be nominated, of course, but when you actually find out you win the thing, I, I think I screamed pretty loud yeah. uh, when I was watching live. Yeah, right? Really exciting. And remind people again <laughs> what it was for. It was for Best Classical Instrumental Solo. So it was actually mm -hmm. for an album featuring a piece Teddy Abrams, our music yeah. director, wrote, a piano concerto for Yuja Wong. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the international piano superstar. And uh, it's just amazing that, we, it's amazing that we won it doing something that we're known for, yeah. presenting new music, yep. attracting world-class talent, and uh, you know, putting it all together in a very visceral way. So we won it for a live recorded album, which some people don't realize. It, we recorded the piece live, it's a live recording. That's incredible. Have you seen the Grammy yet? I have not, only oh, photos of goodness, it. Oh my goodness, right? I mean, uh, we're tremendously proud, but yes. really it's, it's a shared victory, not just for the entire orchestra, but the entire community, yes. all of Louisville, all Kentucky should be proud of this Grammy. It's it's everyone's Grammy because an orchestra like ours doesn't exist without the no. support networks and and um, audiences and and everyone coming together to oh, support the orchestra. We all kind of lived through the Instagram page that night of watching the award and seeing Teddy with the award, mm. and it was you, you you really nailed it. It was just a moment where you felt so much pride mm -hmm. that we were represented in that way on such a big stage. And so hey, now if you haven't already, <laughs> you know, stop by to see the Louisville Orchestra to catch one of their performances. I think this elevates you all in a whole other different way, reaching different audiences. You have a really great season planned. So much great stuff in 24-25. We have our different series. We have Classics, mm -hmm. which is our kind of main stage. Um, uh, we present music f that you know spans 400 years, but you know you'll see, you'll experience the planets by Gustav Holst. That one's yeah. actually happening at the Palace Theater um, for the first time. We're doing a, a and a lot of these too. There. You mentioned like the Palace. A lot of these happen in different venues, right? They're just not all in one place. There, and I just think that adds to the whole. 100. percent We're all over the community. This series is mostly at the Kentucky Center for the Arts. Um, we've also got world-class soloists mm -hmm. uh, coming to join us, like Midori and Ray Chen, violin superstars. Um, then we have our pop series where we're doing, you know, various pops concerts like uh, a holiday show. Um, we're doing music of Star Trek. We're doing Rick Steves Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll be here for those who are Rick Steves fans. And then we have a film series where we do Fun. films and we perform the score live to picture. So we're doing Nosferatu. We're doing Harry Potter's. I think we're on numbers seven and eight right now. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. Through the whole series. Yeah. So <laughs> we've got something for everyone. Um, you know, we, we find that folks definitely choose the series yes. that they're most interested in, whether that's classics or pops or film um, or something else. But you know, great music's great music, and we just, we have something for everyone, and, yeah. and I encourage folks to try a little bit of everything, really. Right. Well, yeah. you, you said it just so on point. You have something for everyone, right? Absolutely. I don't think that Louisville Orchestra does anything one size fits all, and I think that's the way that you all are able to appeal to such a large audience, a new audience, a younger audience in many ways. Absolutely. I mean, every type of music we perform, we take it equally seriously, mm -hmm. because great music's great music. Um, that said, we do have subscriptions available today, yeah. within a couple hours. Starting today. I believe, yeah, and uh, so for those who know that they're big Pops fans of Bob Bernhardt and the, yep. the stuff he does here, there are those who are... A lot of big fans of that in our building. Oh, yeah, big definitely. time, yeah, and, and those who are, you know, really into the, the film series or those who want to come to the Kentucky Center and the Palace and other venues and experience, you know, the classics, the mm -hmm. greatest of the greatest uh, pieces of music from the last the 400 one at years. The Palace sounds so great. I mean, that just, what a venue to have that in. Absolutely, and that's yeah. the planet. Yes. There's this epic work that, you know, there's a movement for each of the planets minus Earth and Pluto, which yeah. wasn't discovered at the time. But now Pluto's not a planet anyway, so it doesn't matter. Tough question for you. Yeah. So do you have a favorite in this series? Or one that you're especially looking forward to? I know you don't want to make the others jealous. Yeah, but. Sure. okay, so I'm a violin, so to nerd okay. out, we have Ray Chen and Midori coming. They are world-class superstar violinists. They're okay. doing the Barber Violin Concerto and the Sibelius Violin Concerto. That is absolutely not to be missed. Um, Nosferatu, we performed last year around uh -huh. Halloween. This incredible score. I mean, I would honestly say it's maybe, it's a contender for best film score written oh, wow. in the last 10 years. Okay. I mean, I really, truly believe that. And we, we did it last year and it was so popular, it was so epic that we're doing mm -hmm. it again. Um, and yeah, you, you know, we're, we're just presenting stuff you can't 
find anywhere else. Right. So it's really exciting. And we are lucky to have it right here in yeah. the Kentuckiana community. Always great to see you. you. Um, send our best back to everybody. Congratulations. You know, tell them all we love them because we do. Will we love do. everybody. We're just so, yeah. so proud. It's a, it's a big proud uh, kind of a moment. And I think it's a great opportunity. If you haven't already, to check out something that may interest you as well with the Louisville Orchestra coming up this season. Go online, get those subscriptions right now. The tickets are on sale. Uh, all you have to do is go to LouisvilleOrchestra.org.